Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is a clip from my interview with Gorillaz and Muse touring bassist Morgan Nichols. If you want to see the full interview, the link is available below. One of the, th the things that's really interesting about your relationship with Muse is that although I guess you're technically not an official member, you kind of are. You know how the band writes music and prepares music? Like, how do they do the creative process? Uh, well, Matt is very much the, the the main sort of. So he's the main songwriter. He's 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 a kind of a unique character, really. In that um, he's uh, yeah, he he's got a very clear idea of what he what he wants, and and the songwriting. I think Chris does a bit. bit I mean, they all do their own, bring their own thing to the table. But it's very much Matt's um, uh, bag, really. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and and he, and, he, and he plays everything. I mean, Max just plays everything very well, better than most people uh, in most bands. You know, he's uh, yeah, very talented guy. So, how did your relationship with Muse begin? Um, I, that was a lot. That was a while back. It's been like fifteen years ago now, something like that. Um, I was playing with the Streets, and I got a call from the Muse tour manager saying Chris, uh, the bass player, has just broken his wrist playing football. Nightmare. They've got a headline show at V Festival in England, which is like 80,000 people. Headlines, their biggest show to date in a week's time. Don't want to cancel it. Can you come and do it? And I said, well, man, I've got, I've got like one. I, I'm in the Ukraine, I think. <laughs> um, two, um, you know, I've got gigs to do. I'm, I'm in, you know, I'm tour. And three, uh, it's a week away. I've got what's to learn a whole new set, which isn't like 12 Bob Blues. It's like, you know, it's going to be tricky um, at the best of times. Um, anyway, one thing led to another, and they, I said to them, that the only way I can do it is if you make me an offer I can't refuse. And um, and they called back and did. <laughs> I was like, shit. <laughs> um, so I talked to Mike Skinner, the, 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 the boss, um, the streets guy, and, um, and said, listen, you know, they me, you know, you know fair, fair bit of cash to do this one thing. And... Um, and it could lead on to other things. And, you know, it's like, would you mind? And he was like, no, mate, you just go and do what you need to do. Good luck. And so, which is lovely of him. And um, if he'd have been, if, you know, I would have, I would have, I wouldn't have done it if it without his blessing. And um, anyway, I did it. And suddenly I had, well, five days turned into like three days of rehearsal all of a sudden. And um, which was not enough. <laughs> just go walk out on stage in front of 80,000 people and play those songs. But um, got away with it. I think. And uh, anyway, we, we we all got on and um, Chris has um, got better. Um, I, went, I went on tour with him, ended up in Australia um, uh, covering for him. And um, and um, yeah, we had a great time. I think I ended up being sort of beer monitor stroke party person for most of that, the end of that tour. And um, I was sort of designated if anyone's room was going to get trashed, it was mine. So huh. he was like, paying for it anyway. So it was one of those. And um so yeah, so a year later, I think it was, maybe not even that, um, they gave me a call and said, listen, can you play keyboards? We're, we've got finished an album. Um, and can you play a bit, of, you know, extra guitar or keyboards or and just generally help out? And I was like, yeah. And I've been doing it ever since, really. It's not really my sort of, my, I mean, my instrument of choice is bass, really. Um, that's what I'm sort of, you know, reasonably all right at. Um, and, um, but yeah, so I sort of um, bumble along and get by. And that does all the tricky stuff. And um, and I sort of come fill in all the gaps when necessary, and and we all get on. And that's that's my, most of that's what touring is about, really. At the end of the day, it's all about you know making a good cup of tea and um, getting on, and not being late too often. That is so cool. <laughs> so I mean, you really hit it off with that band. Yeah, well, you know, they're lovely guys. They're all from they're all from um, uh, Devon, and so they're they're good. They're a good bunch. Yeah, yeah. I, I miss them. Actually, I went out with Chris, the bass player. We went to. A football match the other day and I hadn't seen him for a couple of years um, so with this whole lockdown and I don't think he's seen the other guys um, who were based in LA um, for uh, they've, uh, they've been, done a whole album remotely and um, yeah so it's been an odd time has to be said